In this History Illustrated video, we're going to take a look at the word alliance. Now, many of you may already know what the word alliance is, and you might even know the other word, ally. If I have an ally, a lot of you might just say, I have a friend. But I want you to realize that an alliance isn't always friends. Sometimes you form an alliance with somebody because you need to. Say, for example, you have this group of red people over here, and if you notice, there's six of them here. And you have this blue group over here, and there's six of them here. And the green group, there's only three of them. Now, say the red group that has six, maybe they have a lot of military. Maybe they're a pretty powerful group of people, actually. They're all pretty tough. So they could easily come over here and mess around with these blue guys and easily kill them or hurt them in some way. And they can easily come over here to the green guys and really do some damage to them because they've only got three of them. Now, they could beat either group up, but say that the green and the blue people, they're not best friends necessarily. They are more of an alliance. They have got together because they know that nine is stronger than the six over here. So they have joined together, regardless of whether or not they are friends. They are now called allies, or they have an alliance now, because they need to. They have to help each other out, otherwise the red group over here could take over and hurt them or anything that they need to protect.